Now, I know I'm not the only one that do this, but there's a lot of times I look at shoes sitting on the shelf and I'm like, you know what? I could pass on these. I could probably get these shoes on sale. And then later on down the line, the price just skyrockets. I know I can't get the shoes. Let's take a walk down memory lane and look at certain shoes that dropped in 2023 that is now creeping up in prices. And honestly, guys, I think you should pick them up now before it gets too late. Why wait until a shoe is at $500 to tell yourself, to try and convince yourself that you want them. Today's the day and I'm gonna show you guys a few sneakers that you guys thought was going for retail, but they're actually skyrocketing. Walk on YouTube, welcome back to the page, welcome back to the channel. My name is Squin and talking about sneakers is my thing. So if you guys love sneaker discussion, sneaker reviews, or anything surrounding lifestyle or sneakers, hit the subscribe button, but let's get it started, let's go. The first shoes I wanna talk about is gonna be a classic that everybody was begging Nike to drop, and I mean begging. Every single year there's rumors about this shoe dropping, and when it finally dropped, nobody give a damn, and that blew my spaghetti. And I'm talking about the Air Jordan 12 Cherries. Now these right here is a shoe that everybody, every single year, oh, is a rumor to drop, is a rumor to drop. We've been hearing that this shoe was a rumor since 2016, my friend. And they finally dropped last year in 2023. And when I said that these shoes got disrespected, they got disrespected. They got treated like some Team Jordan. This bad boy right here is a beautiful classic NOG that was going for retail and in some sizes on the retail. But if you check for this shoe right now, it's now going for about $280 to $300 depending on your size, which mean by summertime, when everybody start wearing this shoe, it's gonna pass the 300 mark and it's gonna go for about 325, 350. Now, if you're a person like myself, who enjoy classical colorways, then why not just pick these up before the price get too high? Like I said, these were sitting in certain malls and certain shops and people wasn't caring about them. But now that they're completely sold out in stores, you have to get them from the secondary market, from the resale market, and the price is going to be higher than retail. Next on the list is gonna be a shoe that people were saying was trash, they're ugly, but at first they were hyping them up like crazy, and it's going to be the Travis Scott Mac Attack. This is just a simple shoe. Matter of fact, I thought this shoe wasn't gonna drop because all they did was flip the swoosh. Yes, I know that's Travis Scott's favorite thing to do, but you have to understand, this is a OG colorway. So I was thinking just flipping the swoosh can't be it, they're gonna do something else, but nah, they didn't. They just dropped this bad boy right here. Now my thing is, this shoe was going for under retail. I think at one point, these were going for $90 or $100, and now they went back to retail and they passed retail. Now, these are going for $200 to $250. Now, I know that's not a lot, but this shoe retail for, I think, $120 or $140. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section below, but I honestly know that this shoe was less than $200. So, to see it creeping up past $200 is crazy, especially when everybody was bashing the shoe and saying how lazy Travis is. But now, because, of course, it's a collab, people are hype on it and people want it. Another collab that people slept on and said they don't want it is gonna be the Ama Minier 5. Now, listen, when I say that I like these shoes from the jump and I got them for retail, I got them for retail. I got both colorways for retail, but the colorway that we're talking right now is gonna be the Dawns. Now, everybody like the dust because it's black, it's easy to wear, but the Dawn is a weird colorway. It's not really white. It's more like, a, I wanna say, a steel blue, a faded blue upper, and that's what's tripping a lot of people. A lot of people say they don't like this. A lot of people have it as they regret. But if a lot of people are regretting these shoes, why did the resale go up? At one point, this was going for under retail, and now it's going for, I wanna say, a little bit over retail. These shoes are retailing for 225, and now they're going for 250, 300. Listen, it was going for under retail first, and now it's finally creeping up a little bit, which means after a while, they're gonna touch the 300 mark. Now, I don't think they're gonna go crazy like the Amonir trees, the first colorway, but I feel like the more people wear these shoes and appreciate them, the price is gonna go up, especially the dust colorway. Everybody rocked that one, everybody loved that one, but I feel like this one right here is the hidden sleeper. So if you guys are building a collection and want a nice collab, this is definitely it. I have them, they're nice. Now the next shoe that we're gonna discuss is a shoe that I feel like came and went. When I say that, I mean the shoe release, people got it and people forgot about it. But if people forgot about it, how is the price slowly creeping up 
without anybody realizing. And I'm talking about the April SB Dunk Low. Now these right here are clean. They remind me of the hyper green Air Jordan 1s and that's why I like them, that's why I wanted to get them. I remember these going for about 275 or 250. When did these pass the 300 mark? My size right now in a nine and a half is going for about 313, 320. And yes, that's not too crazy. The shoe retail for 125. So yes, that's a double the price already. So right now I'm thinking to myself, should I pick these up for the summertime? Cause this shoe is definitely screaming summer vibe. You have your white mesh, your nice little, uh, what's it, teal blue, and then your metallic swoosh beautiful shoe right there if you guys have this in your collection let me know if it's worth it should i pick it up because for those who don't know i am trying to build the sb collection so if there's any sbs out there that i should pick up i think this is definitely it and if there's an sb that i think you guys should definitely get your hands on it's going to be this bad boy right here and when it comes to my advice i feel like it's 50 50 some people listen and some people don't and the people who don't listen them suffer at the end you know why they suffer because i've been preaching the vomero five for months and i'm telling y'all yo get your hands on them they're amazing they're comfy the people who don't listen are the people who are about to spend three hundred dollars on the supersonic colorway yeah if y'all had listened to me from the jump from the get-go y'all could have bought these when they were already going for 180 the regular nice twenty dollars over the retail twenty dollars over the box that was it well yeah, because it's 160 so $20, you know, yeah, 180 Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. I know my max. But these people who don't listen to your boy Squin, you have to pay $300. Well, you don't have to pay because you don't have to get them. But they are a great shoe and everybody loves this colorway. And it's just simple and easy to wear. And I never knew that these were going for so much until I decided to make this video. Berta, $300? For a Vomero is crazy, but then again, the Dornbeckers are also going for a crazy amount of money, but those are limited. These right here, I felt like there was a good amount of units out in the world. And people just didn't cop. I don't know why, but look at you now, hustling and bustling, trying to get the shoe. And that's why when I said hit the subscribe button, I mean hit that subscribe button. Subscribe right now if you want more of my advice on shoes that you should look out for and shoes that you'll probably sleep on. But these right here, honestly, are they worth the 300 mark? Mm, nah, if you could like lowball somebody and get them for about 200, 250, then yes. But the 300 mark that they're going for right now is crazy. And another shoe that's going for $300 that nobody talk about, nobody posts and nobody wear is gonna be the Fragment and Claw Dunk Lows. Yes, I said it. I know you guys are looking confused. I'm confused. I never thought these shoes were going for that much, but in my size nine and a half, they're going for almost four bills. Yes, I said it, $400, four zero zero. Why? I don't know. I haven't seen anybody wear them. I haven't seen anybody talk about it. And trust me, I am active on TikTok. I'm active on YouTube and I am active on IG. I never seen anybody post a picture of these so when since the price got so high, I know when they first dropped the initial release, everything sold out the first day. Yeah, everything sells out anyway on the first day. But to go for $300 to $400 is mind blowing because when I was looking at the shoe to buy it, it was about $250, $275. To jump up $100 from that and I still don't see anybody wearing it is wicked. Maybe it's just in my area. Where are you guys from? Let me know. And let me know if you see anybody rocking this shoe right here. Because honestly, I don't see it. I still want them, but that price is crazy. As sneakerheads, I'm pretty sure you heard the term that hype work in mysterious ways. Now, this was a shoe that was hyped up. Everybody stopped talking about it, but the resale price has kept going like people are still talking about it. And I'm talking about the Air Jordan 4 SB. Now, I know a lot of you guys love the shoes. Yes, a few of you guys still mention this shoe, but the hype last year was crazy. Shoe of the year, shoe of the year. Yeah, we love it. I understand what everybody was saying last year, but even last year, people were screaming that this shoe was only going for about 300 to 375 max, depending on your size. Now, 
you'll be lucky if you find these shoes for 300 dollars these are going for 400 max which means by the end of this year i am seeing this shoe hitting at least 500 so if you guys were ever thinking about getting the sb4 the air jordan 4 please go pick that up right now whatever you're doing whatever shoes you're looking to cop in this month put that to the side and focus on these sb4s because for some reason everybody's copping them on the low and the price does keep going up and up and up and for a size nine and a half i think they're going for about 417 or 420 like i said that's crazy i got mine for retail thank you a lot but honestly no man once they touch the 500 mark i feel like a lot of people is gonna start hyping them up even more and once people start hyping up them more because of the resale value that's when the resale start going super crazy and you don't want to spend that money if these shoes touch six seven or eight hundred dollars nobody's gonna buy them i feel like yeah people's gonna try and stunt and say oh yeah this is my grill now only because they're going for that price but get them before they hit that price especially before the summertime because that's when you can really rock these shoes and i think it's time for me to take my own advice and pick up a shoe that i've been eyeing before the price reach a point where i don't want to pay and let me know if you're like that too is there shoes that you like but once they hit a certain price you just won't buy them and you just say yo that's it i'll never have them that's how I feel about certain shoes, and that's how I feel about the J Balvin uh, Air Jordan 3s. I love these shoes. They are fire. But my size is going for 4 97 Brother, I checked these last year in November. These were only going for about 3 20 in my size. And I was like, you know what? I'll wait. They're probably going to drop. No, they're going up. They're about to, well, after tax, they're $500 plus. So right now I need to decide, do I want to spend that money now or do I never want to get these shoes in the collection? Because my max for these shoes is probably this price right here and that's still pushing it. Four ninety seven. where you even get that number from? It's so odd. Just make it 450 Make it a nice number. But 497 plus tax and shipping and handling? Yeah, it's gonna cost me about 520 and that might be my extreme max if I do decide to get these shoes in the collection. These shoes are beautiful, and yes, the black pair is coming up, but I don't think the black pair is gonna hit like this pair off the rip, but the black pair is definitely gonna go up too because this black with your nice orange and yellow is a subtle color. This right here though, ah, these really were it, and I think if you like them, like I said, Pick and choose what you want to buy this year and go after shoes you really want, like the J Balvin 3s. Now, the next three shoes, I'm not going to lie. They're going to make your eyeball come out of your eye socket because I'm going to tell you something. When these shoes drop, they instantly went crazy. And I'm saying the prices went up and up and up and up and up and they're on a non-stop. Now, this is a pair of Sambas. I am shocked that a pair of Sambas is going for over $500. And for some reason, I have the nerve to think that I might spend, well, I might consider spending that $500. And these are the Whale Banners. The, did I say her name right? Probably didn't. Please correct me. But these are the all over silver metallic boy. If you're on TikTok, I'm pretty sure you've seen these shoes all last year and you try to convince yourself that you don't want them. But in reality, these are a beautiful piece of shoes and I really regret not getting them. Now, the first time I've seen these shoes, the resale price is only $375. And I was like, why would I spend $375 on a pair of Adidas Sambas? And then the more I see the shoes, the more I see people styling them, the more I see the detail in hand looks, I'm like, Jesus, let's go take another look at this. And the price went from $375 to four something. Ha. <sighs> Then I check again and it went from four something to five something. And I'm like, $500? And now, while I'm doing this video, I am looking at the screen and my size is going for $647. Bro, God, what is that? And honestly, the shoes is worth it. Like, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, these are one of the best Samba's collab. This is one of the best summer collabs ever come out. I like these a lot. 
but I really just don't want to spend that money. So if you guys don't want to end up like me, please, if you see a shoe that you like, just go out and buy it. Because you're going to end up like your boy Squin, and you're going to see a shoe, say, you know what, I'll wait, and then a few months after, it's going to be out of your reach, and you're going to be sad, you're going to cry tears, and you don't want that. The sneaker game is supposed to be happy, dandy, and all about love, and I'm here upset because I'm about to spend $700 on a pair of Sambas. And talking about being upset and spending unnecessary type of money. Now, this is when you should buy a shoe before it drops. Well, this, this is an example of why you should buy a shoe before it drops. Now, if you guys remember, last year was the year of the rabbit. So Jordan Brand put out a whole bunch of shoes. This right here was the one that everybody else was talking about. And it's going to be the Jordan 1 Lowe's. Now, this is the year of the rabbit Lowe's. Fire shoe is cool and all, but I have the Travis, so I didn't want them. These are the Travis alternative. And because people call them that, the price went high. Now, before people start associate them with the alternative to the Travis, they were just a nice brown Jordan 1, and the resale was $240-250. You know how much the resale is now? Comment down below and take a guess. I'm going to check. In my size, this shoe is going for $547. What is with everybody in 47? Is that a lucky number? Because every shoe that I see is, is 347, 657, 857. These are going for a whopping 547 for a Jordan 1 low. That's crazy. But then again, you have to remember, these were limited. And for a limited shoe to only go for a 240 before they release, y'all should have picked them up. Because, because now, are you still going to spend that money? I don't think so. Just like the Sambas, I don't really think a lot of people are going to be spending the five, $600 to get them because, yo, the price is just too outrageous. And this is the same thing. But if you want something limited and only 500 people in the world is going to have, well, I think it was only 500, then you're going to spend that money. But remember, shop smarter, not harder. If you see a shoe that you like and the price is right, just cop it. But those are just a few of the shoes that came out last year and started to pick up a hype, started to pick up in resale value. So if any of these shoes were on your list to pick up, did you pause this video and run to Gold or eBay to pick up any of these shoes before the price started going up even more? Let me know. But honestly, guys, I like making videos like this because it just shows that the sneaker game is different. Yes, it's not super hyped up like, hey, a shoe come out and it automatically goes for $500, but now it takes time, which means it's going for under retail. People are buying it, they're buying it, they're buying it. Now they're going for retail again. More people buying it, buying it, buying it. Now they're going for more than retail because a lot of people like them. Buying it, buying it, and they're gonna touch the peak. The peak might be 300, 400, 800. All I'm saying is watch the market and pull the triggers on shoes that you like at the right time. There's a lot of shoes that I'm looking at right now that I don't think is worth retail, which means once it drop under retail, once it hit a sale rack, I'm going to buy it. And I'm not going to wait, oh, it's only 30% sale. I'm going to wait for 40. Nah, I'm going to just buy it then. Because what if it don't go to 40? What if everybody buys it on the 30% and then they go back to retail? Then they go back to reselling for a lot of money. I'm not with that. I spend way too much money on shoes already that I need to act smarter. I need to plan out how I'm going to buy these shoes and when I'm going to pull the trigger. And I don't want to wait until a shoe is super hyped up and the resell is out my reach to buy a shoe. Because, because you guys have to remember, a shoe is only worth what you're willing to pay. Just because they say that the shoe right now costs $500 doesn't mean that shoe is $500. That shoe costs whatever you want to pay. A lot of my shoes, I didn't pay what the next guy paid. I could pay $500, another guy got it for $200. I could pay for $150, and another guy got it for $1,500. You have to know your value and how much you want to spend on the shoe. And with all that being said, I'm guys, I'm end that video with those words of wisdom because I feel like that is the best thing to live by when it comes to buying shoes. But yo, guys, see you next time. Love, manas, and always respect. See you.